What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Trash Talk. So I'm here today with uh, Arki Wisnu from Satria Muda Pertamina. Uh, congratulations on the new contract. Thank you man, thank you for having me. Can I have five dollars? Yeah, let sure. me hold five dollars. <laughs> you got change? <laughs> no. So uh, Arki, for everybody who doesn't know, you just signed a four year contract, right? Yep, with that's Satria. correct. So, uh, how really are you that this process is done? Um, I'm glad now that I can just focus on playing with the team, practicing, and getting ready for the season. That's out of the picture. Uh, so it's a really was it a stressful process? Uh, it wasn't stressful, uh -huh. but I mean, you know, I had to make sure everything is good before uh, you know continuing and stuff like that. So what is it about Satria Muda organization that makes you want to stay? Uh, you know, it, it's a lot of reasons, to be honest, why, why, I, why I decided to stay in Satya Muda. Um, one of them is, uh, well, I, I grew up uh, following 90s era basketball, you know, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. Uh, these players, you know, they, they, they created their legacy and stuck with one team. Different compared to basketball, hashtag Jaman, kids Jaman. Jaman now. now. <laughs> so, so it's like... You know, I, f I started in Satir Muda mm -hmm. and then I wanted to, you know, why not have my legacy in Satir Muda? That's one. And then two, uh, you know, just the, the working for uh, Mas Eric, you know, he, he, his vision is clear, you know. He, he puts a, um, a me his message is Juara Indonesia, Indonesia Juara. So it's like every year our goal is to win, you know. And then he supports us and then, you know, he tries to make sure that, um, you know, us players uh, grow into better individuals from in basketball, outside of basketball, and stuff like that. And then so, like, I, I just appreciate what he's doing with the organization and stuff like that. So, so and then, like, playing for Satya Muda for six seasons, you know, um, a lot of uh, the players have become uh, close to me, like my, my own brother and stuff like that. So, like, it, it, it's hard to, like, just leaving, leaving them and stuff like that. Tell me about your teammates. So, how did your teammates react when they found out about you? Starting for more years with Satya Muda. To be honest, I think they weren't really surprised. Okay. I think they were just like, "Yo, did you sign yet?" Like okay. stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. the kind of questions I got from my team. Like, okay, that's about it. So let's talk about your injury. So you were hurt during the IPL playoff, right? Yeah, that's and, right. And then in the SEA games, you played through injuries, right? Mm -hmm. So for ever, for all the Satya Muda fans, they would like to know uh, how's your condition now. Um, right now. It's a slow recovery, but I'm getting there. Um, I'm, I'm still uh, there. There's still like some some inks that hurt like once in a while, but I mean it's better than than it was when it happened. So I mean, thank God that I was able to not like re-injure my injury uh -huh. during Platnas, but you know now it, it's getting better. So we have Perbasi Cup in like I think two weeks. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna play? <laughs> um, I, I would think so. Uh, and you know, it all depends on. What the, the team doctor and uh, the, the way, what he says to our coach and if the coach plans on playing me or he wants to focus on the young kid guys, I'm not sure. So, I mean, if he tells me to play, I'll, I'll, I'll play. I'll be ready. Obviously, you and Mario Wusang had built a very close relationship mm -hmm. and you were together for Team Nas for like, what, three months together? Three yeah, months? about three months. Yeah. yeah. What can you learn from someone like Mario Wusang? You know, uh, throughout Platnas, you know, he's been my roommate like a, mm -hmm. uh, for a, about most of the, the actual training okay. camps. So, you know, learning from him it was, 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 was great uh, being able to stay with him because, you know, he's been in the game, the Indonesia uh, industry, uh, basketball industry for a while, you know. So, you know, you learn things that other people don't know. And so, like, you know, I was blessed for him to... Since we're close, you know, he let me know about uh, situations and stuff like that. So, you know, it was a blessing to be able to, to room with him, get to know him more, and actually uh, communicate about stuff like that. Do you look up to him? Oh, yeah, of course. You know, um, he, he's, he's one of the pioneers of Indonesia basketball. Uh, you know, before, before he's the only guy before me, I think, that from the, uh, played from the States and then came here. And he's still doing it now. And he, at his age, he's still doing better than a lot of the players that are that 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 are considered superstars here and who are even younger than him. So it's like you know, uh, I respect him. I respect him a lot. So Mario is what 38 now. 38. And then the 
the torch is going to be passed to you for the national team probably after this Asian Games because I heard he's retiring from Sea Games already. So after Asian Games, he's probably done. So what do you think about taking that torch and take it forward? Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Like, you know, uh, I mean, I, I still think, Mario, you could play two more years. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching this, you could play two more Come years. Come on, Uncle Ro, you got it. Everybody wants to play too Don't be like that, Uncle Ro. I know, man. Um, but I mean, it's up to him. You know, I understand why. You know, he feels he's ready, and I respect his decision. Mm -hmm. But I mean, well, you know, well, what can we do? You know, I, w I wish I could play two more years. I wish I could play longer with him. But you know, well, that's his decision. You gotta respect it. And I guess I'll just have to be ready to play with the new set of guys that they choose. Okay, and then I saw it in the newspaper yesterday that CLS actually was close to signing you and uh, I just want to know like because you're close with Mario did he do some recruiting <laughs> on you I mean me and Mario were close you know we exchanged words about yeah. the situation and stuff like that <laughs> you know it would have been it would have been nice if we played together right don't, don't you guys think I mean but I mean you know everybody's journey is different and then the decisions we made you know I got a family now to, to worry about so I put my family first and then this decision we made and unfortunately you won't be seeing me and Mario in a team, in the same team again. So how's father time treating you? I love it man, it's like it's like a brand, a whole new different type of blessing that I never expected. Is it? Yo, yo. I'm next? What you say? What you say? Wait, wait, till, wait till you experience it, you'll like it too. Uh, obviously for the 2017 and 2018 season, championship is the goal. Mm -hmm. But do you have any other personal uh, accomplishment that you want to, you know, accomplish next season? Um, you know, I don't, I don't really think about individual goals. Uh, you know, it just comes and goes. Just like last year's MVP, I, to be honest, I didn't even expect it. But uh, yeah, man, the, the most important thing is what, what me and my team we do is win a championship, and anything I get during that that path, then. So a plot nuts and everything, yeah, that's just plus. But hopefully, you know, we lost in the finals last mm -hmm. year, so we're trying to come back to the finals this year and win that shit. How's that motivation though, coming to the season? Are, are the all are all your teammates are like hungry? Um, I mean, well, well, I've been in that position before. Um, 2014, we lost to Aspa, and then the year after that, we won against Peter Jaya. So it's a familiar feeling. And then for the players that my team that you ask, like, do they feel hungry? If they're not hungry now, I'm gonna make them hungry. That's it. <laughs> you better. Do. All right, then, guys, that's my interview with Arky. Thanks, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. it. Congratulations again on the new Thank contract. You. He got like Andrew Wiggins' contract. <laughs> <I think. laughs> but um, yeah, guys, don't, don't, forget to, uh, like, don't forget to like my video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.